Okay, I'm actually gonna try to make this one quick, just for my buddy Dave. <laughs> Cause this isn't worth talking about. <laughs> this is my entire bin of what us Canadians would call Znap and Americans might call Znap. <laughs> it was released around 1998. Um, we got these things uh, on deep discount, uh, probably after 1998, obviously. Um, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. Um, we got these on deep discount because they came with the same 9 volt Technic motor that came with, but we wanted for the RCX. So I, I actually bought a bunch of Z, uh, ZNAP. And again, when I bought other people's collections and whatever, the ZNAP was in there. And a lot of people think it's not real Lego. Maybe but a Lego company. <laughs> so, uh, it, it had its little bit of charm. You can make fantastic train bridges. And if you look at a lot of train, some, some, not a lot, but some train layouts, they use these things to make, um, train bridges because this interfaces, uh, you can put the, the, the pegs and even though a two by two plate with, uh, yeah, two by two plate with peg on the bottom on here, and you can connect Lego to it. So, um, it had its charm. It, uh, it had axle holes in the middle just so you could connect to the 9 volt motor system and gearing and stuff like that. But overall, it didn't go very far. They had beautiful pictures on the on the instruction books of full-size sports cars and stuff made out of ZNAP. Cute, but nobody was really interested. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't. I only got it because this is the... This is the um, the thing that you would put the motor in so you can uh, run that up. And it came, I think the motor came in two sets. I'm actually looking on Bricklink because I couldn't find anything on Lugnet. <laughs> but uh, Bricklink, it had the black mobile. That's a ripoff of something. And it had the other one, the um, hover sub with motor. They both came with the regular 9 volt and a battery box, which was fantastic. So that's why I have a lot of battery boxes too. Um, but this is it. And I, besides, I built one train bridge once in a day. Um, it, it's not worth much. <laughs> it was great for the motors. And I keep it here uh, just in case. And again, I have a whole um, plain old container full of all the miscellaneous parts that you would use to build ZNAP together. Um, it's the first time I've been in this bin in a decade. <laughs> It sits back there. Uh, I, I I don't throw out Lego unless it's busted icky or whatever. Um, and if somebody wants to buy this off me, <laughs> why would they? Um, this is this is fine. So this, uh, look, three minutes, quick video. <laughs> so, uh, Znap. I have a bin. I may use it at some future point i again like 99.99 percent of this collection i have it here i won't use it but i don't know what i'm not going to use right now so i can't downsize it to a what i would i believe too long different topic quick video uh guys stay safe have a good weekend and i will talk to you later